The phrase to take part in means to be actively involved in something with other people, such as an event, an activity, or a discussion. For example, you can say I took part in a chess tournament yesterday or she doesn't like to take part in any arguments. I want you to take part in it. I want you to take part in it. Take part in your game. Take part in your game. What brought you to take part in this outrage? What brought you to take part in this outrage? The expression at all is used to intensify a statement or question that is, to make it stronger. It is common in negative statements and questions, where it means in any way or even slightly. It is also used occasionally in positive statements, where it means something like absolutely. For example, you can say, I don't like him at all. I have no liking for him whatsoever. Is there any uncertainty at all about the way she died? Is there even a slight doubt about her cause of death? He's not at all worried about it. He's completely unconcerned about it. In the land of China, people hardly got nothing at all. In the land of China, People hardly got nothing at all. No, not at all. No, not at all. And you will do it with joy or not do it at all. And you will do it with joy or not do it at all. The meaning of to look up depends on how it is used in a sentence. It can have different meanings as a phrasal verb, an idiom, or a noun. Here are some possible meanings and examples. As a phrasal verb, to look up can mean to search for information in a book a computer, or another source. For example, if you don't know what the word means, look it up in a dictionary. To raise your eyes or head when you are looking down at something. For example, she looked up from her book as I entered the room. To visit or contact someone you have not seen for a long time. For example, look me up the next time you're in London. As an idiom, to look up can mean to become better or improve. For example, at last things were beginning to look up. As a noun, look up can mean the process or an instance of looking something up, especially by using a computer. For example, the program performs a lookup of the word in the dictionary. I needed someone to look up to. I needed someone to look up to. Just look up the word handsome in the dictionary. Just look up the word handsome in the dictionary. He didn't even look up from his paper. He didn't even look up from his paper. If you're ever in Washington, do look me up. If you're ever in Washington, do look me up. As a phrasal verb, to wait on someone can mean to serve food and drinks to someone, especially in a restaurant. For example, the staff who waited on us at dinner were excellent. To do everything for someone so that they do not have to do anything for themselves. For example, while she was pregnant, her husband waited on her hand and foot. So you'd come back to work and wait on me. So you'd come back to work and wait on me. I know you don't expect me to wait on you. I know you don't expect me to wait on you. And every night I wait on you and you don't even notice me. And every night I wait on you and you don't even notice me. As an adverb, at least can mean not less than, as much as or more than. For example, it will cost at least $100. This means that the minimum cost is $100, but it could be more, if nothing else, anyway. For example, at least you have a choice. This means that even if everything else is bad, you still have one good thing. We ought to talk this over at least. We ought to talk this over at least. At least I could rest. 
At least I could rest. At least I don't lie to myself about who I really am, okay? At least I don't lie to myself about who I really am, okay? As an adverb, so far can mean up to this point or moment until now. For example, so far, everything is going well. This means that nothing bad has happened yet. But it might in the future, to a certain extent or degree, no further. For example, you can go so far and no farther. This means that there is a limit to how much you can do or achieve. As an adjective, so far can mean distant or remote in space or time. For example, he lives in a so far place. This means that he lives very far away from the speaker as a noun. So far can mean the progress or distance that has been made or covered. For example, how is your so far? This means how much have you done or achieved so far. So far I like what I've seen. So far I like what I've seen. To have traveled so far, from east to west, a thousand terrible miles. To have traveled so far, from east to west, a thousand terrible miles. Am I on point here so far? Am I on point here so far? The meaning of to take a walk is to go for a stroll or a hike, usually for pleasure, exercise, or relaxation. For example, you can say I like to take a walk in the park every morning or she took a walk along the beach with her dog. Madison Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. Madison Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. You here to give me a raise? Let's take a walk. You here to give me a raise? Let's take a walk. I was gonna go take a walk to Salvation Mountain. I was gonna go take a walk to Salvation Mountain. The meaning of to take a trip is to go on a journey or a voyage, usually for a short period of time, for business pleasure, or education. For example, you can say he took a trip to New York for a conference, or she took a trip to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. I thought maybe this summer we'd all take a trip together. I thought maybe this summer we'd all take a trip together. Pack that up. For what? We're gonna take a trip, you and me, all right? Pack that up. For what? We're gonna take a trip, you and me, all right? So you took a trip to New York, uh, and you took Marjorie with you. So you took a trip to New York, uh, and you took Marjorie with you. The meaning of to try on is to put on a piece of clothing or an accessory to see how it fits or looks on you. For example, you can say she tried on the dress in the fitting room or he tried on the sunglasses in the store. Why don't we try on this beautiful, handsome, white shirt? Why don't we try on this beautiful, handsome, white shirt? I want you to try on some clothes for Travis. I want you to try on some clothes for Travis. I got there early. The idea was to try on the suit, see if I liked it. I got there early. The idea was to try on the suit, see if I liked it. The meaning of to think over is to consider something carefully before making a decision or reaching a conclusion. For example, you can say I need some time to think over your offer or she thought over the pros and cons of quitting her job. Just give me a couple of days to think over your proposal. Just give me a couple of days to think over your proposal. A few questions I still think over. A few questions I still think over. There's much for him to think over. Hi! There's much for him to think over. Hi! The meaning of to take place is to happen or occur, especially at a specific time or location. For example, you can say the concert will take place at 8 p.m. or the accident took place on the highway.
The coroner has been informed and an inquest will take place at a date to be fixed. The coroner has been informed and an inquest will take place at a date to be fixed. Now, the meet is to take place just over the border on the American side. Now, the meet is to take place just over the border on the American side. Do you remember where the shooting the breeze took place? Do you remember where the shooting the breeze took place? As a phrasal verb, to put away can mean to return something to its proper place or storage after using it. For example, he put away his toys after playing with them. To eat or drink a large amount of something quickly or easily. For example, she put away three slices of pizza in no time to save or reserve something for future use. For example, he put away some money for his retirement to imprison or confine someone, especially for a long time. For example, the murderer was put away for life as an idiom. To put away can mean to defeat or eliminate someone or something easily or decisively. For example, the champion put away his opponent in the first round. Put away some of these things. Put away some of these things. I think this medicine should be put away from all this hot air. I think this medicine should be put away from all this hot air. They may have been put away. They may have been put away.